Hello and welcome to streaming session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today in what's new in Modbox 2010. So the one of the new features that's available here is the FBX format that is available for export and import. So what you can do right now is, for example, if you look at this scene, I have a couple of things available. I have a sculpt layer that has this and another sculpt layer that has a different sculpt in it. So if we go to the paint as well, I have two texture files on the diffuse. This one here and this one here. So I'm just going to enable both of them, and I'm going to go to the Sculpt as well. And I can enable both of them if I want. But before I export, I want to go to Windows, Preference, under the FBX, there's a new FBX section here, and say, by default, it's, it's going to be off. But what I'm going to do, I'll be saying, Export Layers as Blend Shapes. And that will allow me to bring these Sculpt Layers as two Blend Shape nodes in my. So I select my object, and do File, Export Selection, Creature, and I save my file. Now on my, I'm just going to do File, import and I choose my FBX as my file format and just locate the file. And I just receive the import options and I just say import. And here's my file. And you can see now it has the combination of two of them on top of each other. If I go to window, animation editor blend shape. If I lower that one, I can see now this is the second model that I was working in. If I lower both of them, then I get the base model. And now that's the sculpt layer. Okay, so now we know that the uh, actual blend shapes are working nicely. Let's see the texture. You see now this the default shader, it comes on a fong. But then if you go to the fong, you'll have a layer texture. And in this layer texture, you'll have the two texture files. Actually, let's open the hypershade. And if we have a quick look in here, there's three things. So this is the layer texture. There is one layer. That is the file itself that on, on the first one, the, or the first texture file that we painted. And then that's the second one. But then the third or the bottom layer is actually the color of the main shader. In case of the texture that you painted did not cover the whole geometry and you have parts of the geometry that maintaining that color information, you want that color to come back to you. That's why they have it this way. So this is the um, FBX when you have single UV tile because if I go to window UV texture editor, you will see all the UVs are in one tile here, 0 to 1. So let's examine another different approach when you have multiple UV. So here's we have a model that if you look at it, it has two UV tiles. And if I do select the object and file export selection, and we call this creature number 2, and I jump back to Maya. Everything is as normal that you expected. The only thing that's different now, if you go to the hyper shade, now we have two shaders. And each shader, if you examine them here, has the same thing. So it has a texture, uh, layer texture. The first one is the actual paint. The second one is the color channel itself of the, of the material. And if you look at the, uh, and of course I had the reflection, so it came as well with it. However, if you look at it, as to say, select object you will see that the shader is assigned to per face. So if you have uh, objects that has multiple UV tiles, each tile, each UV tile will have its own shade. So if you have, you have 10, then you'll end up with 10 shaders here. Each one will be assigned per face. If you're not happy with the per face assignment, you'll have to bring this object as OBJ and then use my mail script that will bring the shaders for you and that will be on one shader. All right, so that the option now that we have. You can have it either per face assignment or you can just do the scripts that will bring the shaders on one shader on everything. Now we're just going to do the other way around is where we're going to export an FBX out of Mod, uh, Maya into Modbox. For this, I'm just going to create a new camera just to illustrate how it's going to be done. And uh, I'm just going to look through that new camera. And I'm going to assign a new image plane. And here it is. So this new camera now has an image plane. Uh, let me adjust it a little bit. So once I have this selected, I'm just going to do one little more thing here. I'm just going to here collect some of the UVs to create some selection sets. So actually, so let's get the face. So if I'm going to select some of the UVs here in the face, go to shell, hitting control, and now converting these to faces, and do create sets, click selection sets, faces, just for now. And do file, export all, and I choose FBX. And once I hit that option, it's going to give me that option to what you want to include. So I want to include uh, selection sets. And for the camera, I want to make sure that it includes my camera. And that will take out the image plane and hit export.
Now in Mudbox, I'm just going to do file import and bring the uh, FPX file. And as you will see here, you you'll notice that oh, where is my camera? It didn't come in. Actually, because by default it brings the perspective, you have to log into the camera, and you will see that the camera already brought the image plane. So if I go to camera and say look through, now you'll see it and brought the image plane correctly. And if I go back to the perspective here, you will also notice that there's a new selection set, which is the face, the one that I just highlighted before exporting my objects. So now you have the ability to import an image plane and selection sets. The only thing that you need to put in mind is that when it brings the image planes, it only brings from new camera. So you cannot bring it from top or, pres uh, or side views. You have to be from a camera new, not even from perspective. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the session. I'm looking forward to talking to you more.